for our futures. Okay. Later. I'm heading to cram school. Okay, as we agreed on Monday, we'll now hold a meeting to discuss what we've learned. Wow, you're really into this. Of course I am. I got lots of good info. And it turns out there was no angry ghost involved. Oh. Huh. So that's what's important, huh? <laughs> First off, let's talk about how this rumor got started. The girl was found on the school grounds, so it does match the ghost story on that point. But why did the rumor spread so fast if this was the first time anything happened? There were three victims. I was surprised when I found out. After that first incident, the exact same thing happened to two other students. All three victims had to be hospitalized. No wonder people thought it was a ghost. Okay, moving on. The victims were all in different classes, and at first glance, they don't seem to be connected, but they did have one thing in common. Anyone know what it was? What is this, a quiz show? Do you know? What did all three victims have in common? Shit. They went to our school? Come on. Hello? I got it wrong. We already know that. They hung out together, dummy. Damn. Not just once or twice, either. They all got in with a bad crowd and were always out late. Considering they all ended up the same way, it can't just be a coincidence. So, to find out what happened, we're gonna do some field research. Oh my god, what? Lewis, I actually can't field believe research? it's happening tomorrow. Yep, there's one place where all three no, victims were No, you actually were don't know what's going through my mind, bro. Whoa, hang on. You're not talking about that spot behind Port Island Station, are you? Oh, you know about it? Dude, you can't go there. I've heard all kinds of nasty rumors about that place. Oh, <laughs> really? Well, then all the more reason we should go I together. just don't see how it's, how it's possible. You're coming like, with, right? Of course. Now we're talking. Oh, man. I don't know about this. That place is seriously bad news. Do we really Can't have get to out of my there? mind. Up until now, all we've done is follow <sighs> I, I don't orders. think I'll be sleeping tonight. Isn't it about time Are you in my stream? thinking for ourselves? I know what you mean, but... Man, you have to say it like that. <sighs> I guess I don't have a choice, do I? Then it's settled. We'll go tomorrow night, so plan accordingly. No reason. Jeez. Bro, I want to get closer to Takaba. Is that an ish? Is that a like thing that I can do? I don't even know if there's romance in this game. It probably mm -hmm. isn't, because because of the way the character is. But greatly appreciated. Hmm. All right. Not too free out about all this, are you? Yeah, I'm fine. So, uh... Oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go see if we can do this wild burger challenge. Probably not. Wild Burger Big Eater Challenge is underway. 1800 yen. Yes. 
Holy shit, that's a lot of burgers. Wonder if I'll be able to finish everything. No matter how much I eat, the amount of burgers doesn't seem to decrease. Oh. Focus on a single burger. Instead of flavor, each bite only brings more pain. I don't think I can finish everything. No! No! I guess we need to have, like... Nice. We're determined, at least. Although I couldn't finish it, I feel like I've grown just by taking the challenge. I do remember that I have plans tonight. Hanging out with Yuko again. Oh. Oh. You know about the nightclub at Polonia Mall, right? I've never really cared for it since the place seems kind of sketchy. I hear a weird crowd hangs around there. Some guy dressed as a monk partying very hard every night. Got a lead from Yuko about a monk who parties hard. Oh. Yeah, we'll spend some time. about this some more I still think this is a bad idea how are you scared of ghosts but totally fine with this cuz stuff you can't see is way creepier actually I'm more worried about the things I can see like bats and knives <laughs> big deal so it's a little dangerous come on let's strike while the iron's hot strike Yep, strike hard. You're actually excited about this? We should try gathering information at the outskirts of the station. Yo. Precisely. So a place like that is late at night. It's not so easy for a stand-up guy like me. Jeez. No way. That's not exactly what I meant by not easy. You know, Yucatan, you might actually be scarier than the punks we're bound to run into. Check out those rags. They're from Gecko High. Oh man, this is even worse than I thought. You must have taken a wrong turn. Cause this place ain't for you, buddy. Uh, well, uh, I. What I'm saying is, you being here is ruining our vibe. Beat it, goatee. Goatee? <laughs> oh, you mean me? 
We don't need your permission to be here. Uh, hey, are you nuts? Read the room, won't you? I can read just fine. Come on, don't be intimidated by these punks. What'd you just say? She just called us punks. Come on, let's post some pictures that'll make her daddy cry. Hope you've been practicing your sexy poses. <laughs> oh boy, that's too good. These guys are scum. Oh, so now we're scum, huh? Man, I feel sorry for you, goatee. This bitch is a real pain in the ass, isn't she? Oh. Junpei! <laughs> that's enough. They didn't know what they were getting into. I'll make sure they leave. You good with that? Who do you think you are, dumbass? Then I'm walking out of this. You want some too? Oh, <laughs> shit! Son of a bitch! Damn. You just crossed the line. You think you're going home alive now? <laughs> Should we find out? Uh, no, or maybe not. <laughs> oh, man, what a loser. Bastard. Your name's Aragaki, right? Yeah, now I remember. Shinjiro Aragaki. You're from Gecko High, too, aren't you? Damn it, you're gonna regret this! Oh man, Senpai! That was awesome! I remember you. You guys were in Aki's room at the hospital. You idiots. Go home. You don't belong here. Wait! Sorry, but there's something we need to know before we leave. Did Aki tell you to come here? Nope. Hmm. Well, what do you want to know? Is this about that ghost story? Yes, that's right! How'd you know? The rumor's been going around. Those girls who wound up in the hospital were here talking shit every night. They brag about all the stuff they did to some girl named Yamagishi. Yamagishi? You mean Fuka Yamagishi from 2E? They were picking on her? That's why people are saying it's Yamagishi's ghost that did it. Yamagishi-san's ghost? Wait, what do you mean by that? You guys don't know? This Yamagishi girl might be dead. Nah. I heard she hasn't been home in over a week. Wait, what? I thought she was just out recovering. So... You mean she's still missing? So much for that ghost story. Mr. Akota is the homeroom teacher for 2E, right? Does he know about this? I get it, Aki. Still trying to make up for the past. Hmm. It's you who can't let go. Huh? Nothing. Anyways, that's all I know. We done here? Yeah, totally. Thanks a lot. Come on. Show some appreciation. You really saved us. Just don't come around here again. Thank you for helping us and for sharing what you know. That was really nice of you. Huh? Oh, uh, sorry. Just don't come here again. Hmm. <sighs> Dude, I'm drenched in cold sweat. But man, what Aragaki san told us was shocking, huh? Oh! Give me a break. Going to a place like that, there are limits to how reckless you can be. I mean, I'm proud of you guys for trying to gather information, but be a little more careful next time. 
Hmm. <sighs> and I'm also mm. just thinking about it. Think so? Uh uh. I mean, he wouldn't have saved up if he, he wasn't a nice guy. At the very least, I don't think he's a bad person. So, why does he seem like he's trying to act like he is? Let's do this boot camp. What's this gonna give me? What's going to be on the uh, the shopping channel today? What are you up to today? If you're free, let's go somewhere. Sure. Designer good, brand good. set. We have the perfume. Not bad, kid. And health up, health supplement. Sure. Thanks, kid. We'll be introducing a Father's Day campaign. Don't miss it. Bye bye. Message from Maya. Actually, I haven't gone out during the daytime on a Sunday, I'm gonna be honest. There's a cat here, I'm guessing if we had cat food, we could give it some. Who's at the strip mall? Oh yeah, this guy. Or Ganesha Bank. Oh, a Jack Frost doll. No, it's something different. <clears throat> I got it the first time. Oh, wow. Cool. 
Alright. Let's meet up with him. I swear, I usually don't go jumping into fights or anything. Man, can you believe they were starting shit? Talk about being a sore loser. They seriously think they could stand a chance against me in a real fight? If you didn't stop me back there, I probably would have beaten the sorry. crap out of them. Anyway, sorry about all that. <coughs> You'd be in trouble if I didn't stop it. Uh, I guess so. Guess you're right. Not like I'd lose uh, to a bunch of tantrum throwing nobodies anyway. Cool. All right. So you one, come on, I'll treat you. Let's get some food. Welcome back. Did you wrap your day tomorrow for me? Absolutely. There's a lot to be done for Fuku Yamagishi's case. Going to require Please. your assistance. Have any urgent affairs, and I suggest you settle them by the end of today. Okay. Damn, look at these two. Um. Shit, what do I do? Oh, sh let's go tell Elizabeth that uh, we tried the burger challenge. Marvelous. Nice, keep giving me these. Are you accepting a request? Oh. Oh, we need to complete it. Okay. Maybe we should try again. Very well. We tried eating one burger at a time. Let's try looking away from the burgers this time. I don't think looking away is going to work either, and staring at them is not going to work. I, I don't even know. Maybe you need to do something. Let's look away from them. Eating while staring off into the distance made me feel a little better. Damn. I feel like I'm making progress, but I shouldn't get ahead of myself. Oh shit, okay. Um, wash it down with soda. Oh, actually, I don't know. Soda could be quite filling as well. Okay, let's just do it. My stomach hurts, I lost pace. Oh, damn it. I should have listened to myself. I guess we should have just kept eating then. That would have been the better option. Give me that courage, baby. Though I can finish it, I feel like I've grown. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Because I don't feel like doing it. But we don't have a choice. And asking Mr. Yokoda for an ex explanation sounds like a total pain in the ass. This is so lame, especially after going to that spot behind the station at night. Oh, Hirijo Senpai. Why are you here? Why is this chick Same again? Reason you are. Mr. Ikoda, I'm here to ask you about a student named Fuka Yamagishi. No. Yep. Please, I. I never thought it'd turn out this way, Fuka. Hey, I remember you. What did you do to Yamagishi? Hold on, Kirijo-kun. This isn't an interrogation. Stop scaring her. Moriyama, 
You don't have to say anything if you don't want to. You wouldn't want to give her the wrong idea. Kuka, she... she always looked so frazzled whenever I gave her a hard time. That's when I realized she may be a model student, but deep down she's just like us. And because of that, I knew exactly which buttons to push. You were just messing with her earlier that day, too. It was May 29th. We took Fuka to the gym and locked the door from the outside. Wait, what? You trapped her inside? That's not funny. That night, Maki got worried Fuka might commit suicide, so... She went back to the school by herself, but she never came back. And the next morning, she was found lying outside the front gate. I went to the gym to let Fuka out, but the door was still locked. So I opened it and went inside, but she wasn't there. We all freaked out. Starting that night, we went out looking for her. But every night, another one of us wouldn't come back. And then they all ended up like Maki. I see. Mr. Okoda, all this time you've been reporting Yamagishi is absent due to illness. But the truth of the matter is that she was missing. You had to have known this. Explain yourself. Hmm. I was thinking of the students, of course. You children may not understand, but we have to consider the future of everyone unaffected. So you chose not, not to report a missing child for the good of class, and not because you didn't want the police on top. It, 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 it was in my interest. I wouldn't want the records to be seen by violence. This parents greed. So to protect your career, you would ignore no your responsibility as a teacher. Scumbag. About your friends. Did you notice anything unusual about them before they went missing? Anything at all? A voice. A creepy voice. They all met. Oh, man. Senpai, could it be? It's them. No doubt about it. Up until now, we've never been able to predict who exactly would become aware during the dark hour. This voice must be the key. In other words, it doesn't just happen randomly. They actually get drawn in. I realize now, oh, after seeing all of this, this. they're clearly targeting humans. Shadows are most definitely the enemy of mankind. Oh, Stay at our dorm tonight. That should be the safest place. If you hear the voice, tell us immediately. And don't leave your room no matter what happens. If you can manage that, you should be fine. Don't worry. Yamagishi should be all right as well. Oh, you didn't tell me. Luca. <laughs> Iori and Takeba too. We'll meet after school in the student council room to discuss tonight's operation. Tonight? Yes. We are going to rescue Fuka Yamagishi. If my guess is right, uh, she's still inside the school. Understood. Good. You're all here. Tonight, we're infiltrating the campus. Our objective is to rescue Fuka Yamagishi. Uh, I don't get it. Are you saying Yamagishi is inside the school somewhere? And why are we doing this at night? At midnight, this place turns into... Exactly. That's how Yamagishi wandered into Tartarus. Wait! You mean Yamagishi-san's been over there ever since she got locked in the gym? That's um. right. But that was ten days ago! No matter how you look at it, she's gotta be... 
Don't lose hope just yet. Tartarus only appears during the dark hour. So where does it go for the rest of the day? Nobody knows. That's a good point. This is just a theory. But I think time flows differently in Tartarus. So even though it's been True. 10 days for us, it could have only been 10 hours for her. There's a chance she's yep. still alive. Wow, you think so? But wait, isn't the dark hour pretty brutal though? Even for us, how could she last 10 days worth in there? That is true. And even if she is still alive, we might not be able to get to her. Are you just gonna abandon her then? I have an nope. idea. Let's try to enter Tartarus the same way Yamagishi did. We'll go to the gym and wait for midnight. That'll be the quickest way. Is that really gonna work? In all honesty, I can't say I fully agree with this. If something goes wrong, you could all end up lost in Tartarus too. But... I'm not just gonna stand here and do nothing. If there's a chance we can save her, I'd never forgive myself. If you guys aren't with me, then I'm going in on my own. Uh, senpai? Alright, 